Hello everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about different ways to write a iffy block or callback or a custom callback in javascript okay i mean before even exploring the different ways of writing iffy block i was also not aware that these are the different ways to write a iffy block and then i found uh, this particular on a web and i i want to share it okay so these are all different options to actually execute function by itself. You can see it's printing all the values. Why? Now let's check this out. So this is a simple function. It is calling itself, right? Generally what we do is we use this pattern most of the time. The, like in the last videos, I talked about uh, immediate, immediate invoke functional expressions, something I wrote something like this, but this can also be written like this. You can assign the ify block, which is a function to some variable, or you can actually, this is kind of same, six and seven, even eight. And here we are, I'm calling the new function. So you don't need to pass the argument here. It is calling itself. And here you are passing the argument also. So I mean, just uh, multiple ways to execute the ify expression. Mostly we use this because this is more user friendly and we know that this is the simplest way of writing it. Okay, now our more focus will be on the callbacks. JavaScript and the callback has a good relationship on the Node.js or anything. If you know what is callback uh, based programming, then you should go to Node.js because everything in Node.js like two to three years back is callback based. Even the Node.js core is still written uh, as a callback based. We are using promises a sync of it. That is nothing but a wrapper on top of callback. Or some libraries are written with the promises because now ES6 is supporting native promises also. But first, what is a callback? Callback is nothing but a function being passed to another function and uh, it is being returned from that function, right? It's like a higher order function where function is taking uh, another function as an argument and doing some asynchronous operations and returning the callback. Okay, a uh, simple callback example is, uh, I will just write it, function hello. Okay, this is taking some argument like a comma b and callback and it is just uh, const c equal to a plus b and it is returning callback with this value c. Now when I'm calling this function what I will do is this is the definition of the function now I will be calling it so here I will pass arguments and third argument is the callback right. And it is returning us some value also, right? You can actually, uh, sorry, you can actually print the value what we are getting console.log c. So instead of doing this, this is called synchronous operation, right? Uh, what we are doing is synchronous operation here. The whole objective of this is to do something async. Right after once you are done with some kind of XHR call or HTTP like uh, something like this fetch and you are making some call to the APIs you are, okay and you once you are getting data then you are returning a callback or you are just making a JAX request anything like this or you are reading a file. At the end your goal is once you have the data you will be returning a callback and callback can be a data with null data with some error like here I'm creating uh, a data which is I'm passing empty object if that is true or I will be passing data null with error object so uh, what happens is I will be just passing new error error object and data is null okay so in that case I'm passing two argument which is error and data so while handling it I will be checking if there is an error okay it's error is not null then handle this otherwise we got the data this is a simple callback this is how we deal with either we write in the node.js or something this is a callback first technology otherwise what we do is we pass null and we got the data so we'll just pass the uh, empty object and we will access it right something like this now we can also write some kind of a custom callback. Custom callback is nothing but uh, we are just isolating, sep se separating all these concerns like a separate function 
this is the the main function which takes a number and callback it is doing its operation then it is checking if callback and type of callback is function then call that function okay so how can we call it as a print number is a function which taking two argument number and a callback so call, this done is nothing but a function either you can define this function here only this is also the same thing or you create another function and just call it same as we are doing here right so some kind of a custom callback we can write okay so what is the objective of writing a callback function you can actually do some asynchronous operation once you are done with that operation once you got a success because there is always a way to check from asynchronous operation there is a success or error if there is a success return the callback with the data or return a callback with the error if there is a failure okay uh, same kind of example is uh, same kind of example another example for callback is this add two argument taking a b and callback is a function so here we are just checking okay callback is always a function in our case but sometimes we have to check if type of function then just call that function so type of uh, add to argument 2 5 it is doing nothing it is not doing any kind of calculation otherwise what I what would have done is a b and it would have written us some value c and we can just do console.log c this can be a better right right approach here callback is this add to argument is actually adding them after checking callback is type of callback is a function and here we are getting the value also okay so this is how we actually write a callback and you can also write a custom callback that is nothing but uh, doing the same thing uh, taking some input and defining the callback function callback function will be doing something okay <coughs> So the only important thing is to understand why we need callback for asynchronous programming. Here we are not doing anything asynchronous, but when there is an API call need to be made, that calculation you will do after checking, okay, callback is a function, you do whatever you want and return the callback from here. Okay, that also we will take a look uh, in the next video, some examples, some more advanced examples about the callback.